Hi, in this video I will show you how you can reverse the first name with the last name. So let's say that you have a list of people's names and they are written first name then last name and you want to switch them into last name, comma and first name. So let me show you how you can do that. So I have this table and in the first column I have the first name then the last name of the characters from Breaking Bad series. But I want to format them in a different way. I want in the second column to write last name, comma, then first name. So there are two methods to do that. The first one is simple, then the second one is more complicated, but the second one can track any changes that you do in the first column. So let's start by the first one. I will go into this cell, and here I will start by writing the last name white comma Walter so I gave Excel the format that I want to be applied on all the other cells and now what I can do is that I can go to the data tab and press on flash fill here and as you can see it flash filled all the cells by last name, comma, then first name. And the shortcut to do with the flash fill is also Ctrl plus E. So if I remove them and I press Ctrl E, I will also be able to flash fill these cells. But the only disadvantage of using this method, although it's very quick and simple, is that if I make any changes, it will not be changed in the second cell. So for example, if I remove the E from white and press enter, it will not change in this column. So let me show you the second method in which it will be able to track all the changes also. This method depends on some functions. First of all, I will type equal, then search. And here I want to search for the space between the first name and last name because the space is unique for all the cells. Because first names and last names have different numbers of characters. Find text, I want to find the space. So I will open quotations, space, close quotations. Second argument within text, in which text I want to search for this space in the cell A2. And third argument is not mandatory. So, the spacing here is number 7 in, in terms of characters. Then what I want to do is to write everything after space. In order to do that, I will use a function called mid. So, mid, open, it will ask me for the text. So, the text is in cell A2 again, comma, the start number in which I want this function to start typing if I keep the argument as it is now it will start typing from the spacing so it will type space then white but what if I want to start typing from the last name directly without including the space before it I will add plus one here so what it will do is it will search for the place of spacing by this function and it will find it in number 7 but I don't want to start from number 7 I want to start from number 8 so I will add 1 so it will start from the next character after space then it asks me for the number of characters that I want to include after the starting number so in this case you can see each last name has different number of characters but to be on the safe side I will put a large number so that I can include any last name that could possibly be there. So let's say 30 characters. I'm sure there are no last names above 30 characters. Then I will close the bracket and press enter. So as you can see, it wrote the last name, which is white. Then I will add to this function, I will type and I will open quotations, comma, space, close quotations because I want to have a comma then a space after it. 
and now I want to write the first name to do that I will use the function left so this function will return everything to the left of a certain character the text is this the character in which I want everything to the left of it to be written is the space of course so I will search again find text open quotations space close quotations within text in this cell close quotations and if I keep the search like this it will also include the spacing if I want to remove the spacing and I don't want and I don't want it to be included after the name Walter I will have to remove this character so I will type minus one then I will close the bracket press enter and as you can see last name comma then first name I will apply it to all and as you can see it's also applied now to all the other names and let's try to remove the E from white here press enter you will see it will automatically also get removed from the name in the second column I hope this video was helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like and share this video